The more hits we play, the more hits we get. You are LRadio.net. That song I just played is a birthday request going out to my buddy Lee Zander. He wanted to hear a little poison for his birthday. Uh, Zander, I believe, is 38 tomorrow, so happy birthday to him. We're back now live with Belle Nibel and Tonally Stensley, independent body talk practitioners, and we're talking about body talk. And we took a break, and uh, I wanted to share some questions that people had emailed in over the past week or so. Um, questions about body talk. And so here are, here are some of the questions that we'll, we'll do them one at a time here. The first one that they asked is, so what kind of schooling or training do you have to go through to be a body talk practitioner? There oh. are, okay, there's, it's, it's a new modality started back in the mid nineties. Okay. So up to now, the training has been done through different uh, modules, yep. you know, different uh, seminars, so to speak and uh, all over the states all over the world and uh, there's uh, the goal of the founder is to establish a university and he's very uh, okay. hard working on that and there's already in canada a university that's teaching body talk now so we're excited about that but yeah there's just um you can go as deep as you can spend the rest of your life really going <laughs> deeper and deeper and deeper it is lifelong training yeah yeah so both bell and i are very much aware that the more we learn, the, the fun thing about body talk is as soon as you learn something, it can come up in a session. So you really get to apply what you learn. And uh, for training, go to the IBA site, bodytalksystem.com, and look on seminars. And they have great explanations of what the different modules are like and what they cover. Okay. And the modules, it, it would be interesting to go back to our very first step of how we did it. There, mm -hmm. it, it. Modular one and two are offered together. You take both of them. And it is a four and a half day course that you're taking. And it is both practical and teaching that you're doing the whole time. Uh, it's the time when you learn the muscle testing. Mm -hmm. It's when you, you learn some confidence th because th that's what it's based on so much too is just to know that you can do this. You are covering not only the physiologically pa physiological part of the body, you're, you're studying a great deal on the consciousness, the subconsciousness, mm -hmm. the masks that we mentioned earlier, the priorities that are mentioned into that. After you have taken that course, then you are able to retake it as many times as you want to. Sure. You can get into what we call our advanced uh, modules. And after you have a certain requirement, you are allowed to be certified. And it is a, a written test, a practical test. It is a serious test. It's not something you can take lightly. Mm -hmm. So you can be a body talk practitioner, but then the next step is to become a certified body talk practitioner. With that, then, the door opens for even more advanced learning. So this isn't one of those things where, like, you order a certificate off the Internet. Absolutely <laughs> not. There's a lot of work. Is, there's a lot of work. And, uh, and a lot of money, I will interject yeah, onto I that. Bet. This yeah. is not something you take lightly. It's, a, it's, a, it's sort of like a medical course in a way. You know, like anything that yeah. you, would, you would use to with, better your health. With the same seriousness, yeah, yes. Yeah. So now the second question we got is how is body talk different from the emotional freedom tapping that I've seen on TV? And before we go to EFT, I want to sure. mention one thing about that website that you mentioned, TL. That, that's available also on our website, the link. Just go to resources. So bodytalkforyou.com, just mm. click on resources, and it'll take you right to the International Body Talk Association's right. website. Okay. Right. Okay, sorry. Now back to yeah. the question. So now um, they had a question about how body talk is different from the emotional freedom freedom tapping that they've seen on TV. Wasn't that fun when it was on television? I never saw a show. I never did. I, I, I mean, I know a little bit about emotional freedom technique, but I've never, I never saw one show. So I, I really don't know what he covered. Do you remember when that, that great dance came out the Macarena? Yes, the Macarena. Everybody yes. did the Macarena. It always made me think that we would do just about anything. Well, that show <laughs> on <laughs> EFT was kind of reminding me of that because it was a very, very light description of what EFT was. Yeah. But that gentleman had everybody in that audience tapping on his above the eyes, tapping yes. above the cheeks, tapping in the... <laughs> it was just fun. That is pretty funny. And EFT... We, Tony Lisa and I use EFT, we use Byron Katie Works, we use the, the uh, different emotional things that are out there. We use all of these as, as uh, 
um, what would be the word I want to use? Secondary, subsidiary, um, so, using them with that. So, but body like talk in encompasses with everything. Yeah. It will allow you to do EFT, which works with just a conscious emotion. It's mm-hmm. how you're feeling right now. So we're able to help you diffuse whatever that feeling is through EFT, just like they did on television. Yeah. But if the underlying feeling is something that's deeper in the subconscious, yeah. then body talk allows you to enter there. So body talk is like a step further. I know even during some of my body talk sessions, um, TL has done Reiki when it's asked to do Reiki. Mm-hmm. So it, it can encompass many different modalities. So just to reiterate, in a body talk session, now both Bella and I have been trained in EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique, yep. and, and like you mentioned, I've also done Reiki and mm-hmm. trained in that. And that can come up as a priority as an other modality. Yeah. So if other modality comes up as a priority, we go through, both Bella and I go through what we've been trained in. Nutrition sure. can come up, you mm-hmm. know, something, and then address it. So. So, like you said, body talk encompasses so much. And like Belle said, the advantage is it can go so deep. It can really address something you're not consciously aware of. We store so many programs in our subconscious that is not truly serving us. Mm -hmm. And we may not be aware of how we're slave to these programming. So that can come up to be changed. That's the cleanup disk function of the computer. (laughs) You got to get rid of all those temporary files you don't need. Sometimes it's good to use a testimony. And I have one from just this morning that I would like to share. Um, I ended up having a full schedule this morning along with what we're doing right now. And at about five after eight, got a call from the renter, a wonderful woman who shares our home with us. She was having trouble with her bathtub, though, with the plumbing. Yeah. And I instantly went into a panic thinking that it was the 4th of July weekend. And after the plumber was called and things got taken care of and whatever, I paused. I stepped back. And I remember in 1988, Mm -hmm. so think of the amount of time that had passed, a lot of personal things going on in my life. And I was taking care of my father, and my mother had just died, and he lived a distance away. And it was the first time in seven weeks I was able to get home, and I was traveling back to see how he was doing on his own. Yeah. When I got there, the basement had flooded because <gasps> he had left on a sink upstairs. Oh, no. There was two inches of water downstairs, and it was exactly the same kind of weekend we're having now. Monday was the 4th of July. Yeah. Everything was closed. There wasn't a plumber, there wasn't a cleanup, there was nothing. I was in a strange town. I realized as I worked through that, as I paused and backed up, that not only was the present moment what was upsetting me, realizing something had to take care of, but the majority of my agitation was coming from that charged memory. I still had it charged in my system. I was able to back up, do a session on myself decharge take the charge away from that memory right and allow myself to proceed calmly peacefully without so much stress and take care of what i could take care of realizing you can only do what you can do right so this is again a way of something that can come up in a body talk session we call it active memory but it's a charged memory it's a memory that when you think of it it gives you stress it gives you these some kind of stressful emotion and i like to give the example of let's say you were 10 years old and your your pet your dog your favorite dog died Mm -hmm. yeah and, and you still get teary-eyed when you talk about your dog uh, 20 years later. Yeah. That's a stressful, that's a charged memory. And so it's causing stress to your body. And what we can do in body talk, it, like Belle said, remove the charge. You still remember the dog, but without the stress attached. And maybe le- answering the question on the uh-huh. emotional freedom technique, somewhere in removing that charge, it might come up that, that the client is so feeling that anxiety of that death of that pet, that we might have to, on request, do an EFT procedure before Mm -hmm. we can go on with actually taking the charge away from that memory. That's where EFT fits into body talk. Sure. How Reiki fits into body talk. One time I I owned my own business for 26 years. I actually had another modality had come up from my business experience. I was dealing with somebody, unbeknownst to me, that was thinking about opening up 
his own business, and he was extremely stressed about it. He just needed to be told that it was okay, that if you lose money the first year, you still can move ahead. Yeah, it's not going to fail. Other modality. Crazy. So our experiences, like Tonalisa said, Mm -hmm. anything that we have learned, both that we have paid for and both that we have experienced, will come out. Crazy. Now, our last question, too, that somebody sent in, is could you do body talk on somebody who can't speak? is mentally disabled or has um, some other kind of a disease like autism? And what about people that might be in a coma? Can you do something on these people who, who might not even have good internal communication within themselves? Absolutely. Okay. It's a great question, and the answer is yes. Uh, I'll give you a few examples. Um, there's a book called Access by John Valtime. Okay. And... and uh, and he talks about back to cortices. We talked about how to ba- balance your brain. Mm-hmm. And uh, Marcy, who, who was a nurse in, in Minot, actually, is mentioned in this book, one of her, her testimonials. And Pretty cool. As, yeah, it yeah. is. North Dakota represented. Yay. Yeah. And, and she talks about how she did, co- after she had learned about cortices, how she started doing cortices of, of patients in coma and how they started to wake up. So it just shows there's sometimes even a simple technique like cortisone can mm-hmm. have profound results. I want to touch on to autism. We, we both, Bella and I, work with people with autism and have seen some remarkable changes. And, and the thing is, you can even do body talk on a person who's sleeping. Sometimes we have clients fall asleep, but the <laughs> yeah. body will still answer. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. When it comes to autism, too, that's something that's so dear to me because it affects so many children. And children are so dear. Um, I had a client, or have a client that works with special education. And when she understood how powerful cortices will work for her, she decided that before she saw each of her autistic clients, that she would do cortices with a focus on the client. She charted how that worked for her her clients much more receptive calmer more yeah. alert more aware yes i agree with tony lisa mm-hmm. the answer is a big yes i've had people talk to me about a great aunt in the hospital who has dementia hasn't been able to sleep she started to do courtesies on her great aunt and they, she is now sleeping Wow. And I want to mention one thing, too, that fits into this. I've worked with pregnant ladies, and sometimes I actually have to do a session on the fetus. Really? What's a fetus got to be concerned about? Like, what's all going on in there? Imagine the stress that's hitting the mother. (laughs) Imagine all these things that we've been talking about. Imagine if all of a sudden her her house was flooding. Oh my gosh! And those chemicals, <laughs> those chemicals go right into the baby. The yeah, same I chemicals. Suppose. If they yeah. tell you to take prenatal vitamins for the baby, do you yeah. think of what else is happening to the baby? Right. So many times that unborn baby will come up. Yeah, that's funny. Mm-hmm. So that's that crazy. is a big resounding yes. Please keep your questions coming. Those are mm-hmm. interesting, yeah. and we need to explain this. This alternative modality, this consciousness modality, we need to explain it as best as we can to you. And I want to go back to, Bell mentioned consciousness-based modality. Uh I Earlier I mentioned it's energy-based, and this is how we used to explain body talk. It's a form of energy medicine, but it's actually deeper than that. It's more correctly called consciousness-based medicine. So your body is, is worried and about things or doing things or has stored things that you might not even be aware of. You got it. That's a great way yeah. of explaining it. And if some of that can surface, there's many times that you will know that it's done mm-hmm. something, Stacy. You'll say, gosh, that's right. I remember that happening 25 years ago. But sometimes you won't until down the road. I've had people tell me a month later something has come to them and they realize it's been emotional. It'll yeah. surface. But they remember that they've been balanced. They remember that that charge has been taken off and they've let it slide through. Now, we've talked a lot today um, about physical or uh, emotional things. Before we get out of here today, let's talk about some physical things, too. Body talk can help with actual physical ailments as well. Chronic pain, other things like that. Absolutely. 
uh, when you restore balance to the body, it's amazing mm -hmm. what can happen. I just mentioned one client I had it came in with back pain, mm -hmm. and after the session, she said, "My back pain is gone." Wow. And and um, and other, you know. We, illnesses in I mean ailments anywhere digestive upsets uh, a lot of people have digestive us, uh, mm -hmm. issues that can be helped uh, headaches we've talked about mm -hmm. that stiff neck I always think of somebody having a stiff neck that works down into the shoulders yeah and you just work onto that area even is it with access I love that that you mentioned access the uh, um, it's not simple, but it's simple to learn that you can mm -hmm. do the balancing just of the the op opposing the opposite points in the body, that the energy flows. What a difference it makes! I talked to somebody this morning whose girlfriend worked on his lower back. They're getting ready to leave on a trip. He said, "I was just amazed. The pain was gone just using access." And yeah. and uh, um. Oh. I got a brain fog. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do Recipro over reciprocals. Here, so. <laughs> I wanted to add, you know, okay. when when by, when Bell mentioned access, that Ooh. includes a technique called reciprocals, which really has to do with restoring balance between two points in your musculoskeletal system or your skeletal system, more correctly, uh -huh. and that can have powerful effect. Um, not just in terms of you feel with your muscles and joints, mm -hmm. but actually the energy field between them or the area between those two points. And I remember studying reciprocals and being told that there is a, a two points that have energy flowing between them in the muscular skeletal system. And those two opposite points, if there is any disruption of that energy, guess what? There isn't going to be any comfort in that area, which will come out as a physical <clears throat> symptom. You know something, Stacey, and I don't know if this is the appropriate time or not, but when we were talking about that EFT and we were talking about the coma and we were talking about the autistic children, mm -hmm. it goes right into distant sessions. And it's something that Tonalisa and I really yeah, want to cover. So for sure. Let's want, talk about that quick. And we want to have a, a, whole, a whole hour on that, if okay. we could, or a whole time onto that, too. But when we talk about, I, do you agree with me, TL, on this? When we talk about dealing with coma, with autis autism, when we talk about people who are disabled, who aren't able to communicate what's going on mm -hmm. inside of them, it is one part of distance sessions. Do you agree? Yes. Distance session is, is just a fascinating topic, it, it, and, and Bill and I could talk a lot about it. But basically, I just want to give a little bit of a definition, mm -hmm. um, because we don't, it can be, let's say you have a toddler. That it's mm -hmm. no way your toddler is going to lay still on a table. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we may use a, a little bit of distance that the toddler can be running around the room and we can use the mom or dad or somebody else as a surrogate and do the testing on the oh. surrogate and still do the balancing because our focus is on your toddler. That would be one example of distance too. Mm -hmm. Another one, I've done sessions on people in Europe, in other states, in Canada. And this gets into quantum physics that on a mind level, we are all connected. There is a connection. And it's like we're tuning into, well, on a website, we say we each have a unique frequency. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like a radio frequency. Radio I like frequency. how we explain it on and, there. And we tune in. We have a, a photo often if we do a distance session, some, someone who's not physically in the room with us, we tune in to his or her frequency, and we either over the phone or we can do it without being on the phone, mm -hmm. focus on that person and do the, the muscle testing using herself as a surrogate. And does it help if we know the person? Does it help if we have a picture of the person? Yeah. It does for yes. me. I, I do like that. Does that always happen? No. Right. So many times if I work a distance session, I will ask and, and do not have a picture. The person needs help immediately. I just ask as many questions as I can. I will ask for height, weight, hair color, that type of thing, so I can start to get an sure. image in my mind. But the success of distance sessions has been amazing. This past winter when we had such horrific roads, people made appointments and it would storm and they weren't going anywhere. Yeah. If it hadn't been for distance sessions, there wouldn't have been any any body talk sessions yeah. for the people or any for us to be able to do them either. I was grateful. I have about 50-50 that 
want all oh, maybe 40 60 40 percent who want to be on the phone they want to hear what's going on the yeah. other 60 percent just schedule a time and i just allot it right into the schedule and we i do the session as if they're there it's, and and there. i you know, this is a very humbling process oh. for Bella and I. We were constantly, I mean, when I started doing this in session, I even asked, does this work? <laughs> and I, how is this possible? <laughs> how is this possible? And I was working on a friend, you know, and we, she had asked me, can you please do a distance session? And we were trading. And, but the one thing that absolutely convinced me, there must be something to this. I was working on a lady who was at that time living in Portugal. And this is on, on the testimonies on our website, okay. bodytalkforyou.com. And uh, she was, she's a chiropractor, and she's married to a chiropractor. And she, um, she ha I had her fill in an intake form and just email it to me, you know, simple. And, um, and I also had a photo of her through Facebook. And, um, and then her right, I think it was her right foot that came up, that kind of the ankle area, foot area. And she hadn't even mentioned this on the intake form. Yeah. But it came up as a priority. And I had to do some balancing around that. And there was some blockage in energy. And when I sent her, when I emailed her, all that came up in that session, she, s she emailed me back and said, I've had this right foot issue for years. And I've had to have my husband adjust me weekly. Wow. And, and it's gone. I mean, six months later, so it's still gone. It's good. So that was cool. That is pretty cool. I had a distance session once on a toddler, and, it, and uh, the mother couldn't stay on the phone because he was just irritable that day. <laughs> so just hung up and called back later. And it, it, what came up when we talk about the fetus, this is a toddler, so just about two years yeah. old, it came up for something that happened in the womb that there was a conflict, a stress that happened in the womb and was causing this interruption in his nervous system. When that was balanced, she called me a week later to say he had slept through the night. A toddler now, get yeah. that, slept through the night for the entire week. First time ever. See, so they still blame us even when we don't technically do anything to them. <laughs> and she had contacted me about his just his being agitated, not yeah. about being colicky. And forgot totally wow. about that, that colicky had been there when he was first born. Crazy. So it's, you know, I love what Tony Lisa says there. I have never dealt with anything that is so humbling. Yeah. And there are times when I have to back off and all sh we share with each other on su successes. And I know we're doing that because we're still saying, wow. Yeah. And also being mindful that we're just a catalyst. It's really your body's ability to heal, your mind, right. body ability to heal that we're just kind of kickstart a little bit opening up opening yeah. up letting you be aware uh, yeah. i love that kickstarting you know getting those jumper cables on there yeah. and saying you can do this so if people want to get a session with you guys how can they get a hold of you they can either email us just go to our website uh, bodytalkforyou.com spelled out we are located at Lifeways Clinic. Very, very easy to find. We're just south of Gateway Mall okay. on Gateway Avenue. Mm -hmm. Gateway Avenue is where Perkins is, for those of you who are landmark people. The telephone number is 751-3271, 751-3271, area code 701 for those of you who are out of town. Sure, because and you can, you can do a distance session with them. And you can just call the receptionist there. They're open from 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, and schedule. And then okay. Belle and I, we just split the week. And if you don't want know who to go to, just pick a time that works for you. And we're there through the whole week. We want to be there for you. So we are there five days a week from 8 until 6. Or excuse me, 9 until 6. And then Tonalisa does Saturdays. Yeah. First and third. Currently first and third normally. Unless okay. there's a... Uh, holiday and sure like that. well perfect well thanks for coming in again ladies you are welcome and we will um next time we we get together and chit chat we will talk a little bit more about distance sessions That's thanks for great. having us yeah. thanks stacy and uh you have been listening to a very special after the morning show special edition of url radio stick around one hit wonders is coming up next